Hi, this is Mr. Caprit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the print software Cura. So you're going to open up the part that you want to 3D print, which in this case is one of my puzzle pieces. You'll go to File, Export, CAD Format. You need to save this in a format that the print software understands, which is an STL file. So save this as an STL file. Make sure that you save this on your H drive, which it should be within your PLTW folder. Put it within the puzzle. Now that you have your part STL file saved, you can bring it into the software, which is called Cura, C-U-R-A. Open up Cura. The first time that you use Cura, it's going to ask you to set up the printer. If this isn't the first time it's been used, then none of this will come up for you. So click Get Started. Click You Agree with the User Agreement. Hit Next, Next. And then this is where you add your printer. Under Add a Non-Network Printer, go to Ultimaker 3 and next. Once you're in the software, you're going to open up your puzzle part. So go to your H drive and find where you saved it. And there is my STL file. Now you should do this for all four pieces. I'm just doing one as an example part. So you could do a shift and then highlight all of the parts and bring them all in at the same time if you wanted or one at a time. Now you'll notice it brought it in teeny tiny, which is very annoying. So what you need to do is then click on it, click on scale, and you need to scale it up by 10. So what you want to do is just move the decimal place point to the right by one. Move it to the right. So instead of 1.27, mine will be 12.7. So move it once to the right and hit enter. The piece is now the correct size. And I'm using the arrow keys to orbit around this thing. So up and down on the arrow keys will do that. Now what you want to do is then rotate the piece so that the back is flat against the plate. So you can grab the axis and move it around. You should be able to. There we go. I grabbed the wrong one. And I twisted it kind of weird. There we go. Make sure it's flat up against the plate. And you can move this if you need to. If you have uh, other parts and you need room for them, you can click this move and move it around. So it's up to you where you want to put them. Just make sure they're not right on top of each other. You're then going to go through here and change up the settings. You want to go with a layer height of 0.15, which is a normal print. That will be fine enough. If you go down lower on here, then it's going to be a finer print. We don't need that much detail. And obviously, if there's more detail with the print, it will take longer. Adhesion, do not have that on. You are then going to go to Slice. And then what you want to do is save this project. Do not use Save down there. Do not use that one. Go to File, Save. You're going to save it as a Cura project. So make sure you save it on your H drive. You may want to give it a better name like your group members. So and hit Save. The next step will be to actually print this and 
I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Let me know if you guys have any additional questions.